we already yeah. went through it actually already. I said that twice. <laughs> we already went through it already. <laughs> what? Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki. I'm Adam. And in today's video we have a snack and food review for you guys. So we've got a lot of food in front of us. One of the things <laughs> we had to heat up and it smells amazing. My stomach is growling right now. I know, now. right? Like, <laughs> We're both really hungry. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't even like that focused on like how hungry I was until I smelled that. Now I'm like, <laughs> I just need to eat. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video or find it helpful, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And let's get started with our drink today. So you've got a blender bottle of water. I so do I. And we didn't fill it all all the way because I made this mistake last time where I filled it too much for what we're gonna be trying. We're gonna also need a little shaker, but we are trying another flavor of this Seek protein powder. So it is clear protein. One scoop is one point on Weight Watchers and it's 100 calories. It's got 22 grams of protein and one carb and no sugar. So it's caffeine free, gluten free, soy free, has no lactose, which is also nice because you try to avoid yeah. having too much lactose. You pretty much just mix it with water. It says between 14 and 16 ounces. You shake it up and leave for 30 seconds. And then it does say you can add ice, which if you wanna add I'll ice, you can do that. that. But the flavor that we got today is fruit punch. So the flavor we've tried before is the blue Raz, and we really liked it. We went through it already, but that's why I ordered this one. And actually, this was the only flavor that was available right now. Everything else was sold out. I actually bought this through TikTok shop. I wasn't gonna do it, but it was the only way to get it, and it was cheaper. But usually it's available on Amazon, and so I'm gonna check if it's restocked lately. But when I was looking for the other flavors and to get more of the blue, I wasn't able to find any. So anyway, fruit punch, and it is a big scoop, so that's why you need to leave some room yeah. for the water. It doesn't smell like anything, but I just got it in my nose. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, this has just been a good way to get protein in throughout the day. And to me, it's like having like an electrolyte drink or something like that, but it's got 22 grams of protein. So it's helped me out. The blue raspberry flavor, like I said, was really good. And I'm excited. Whoa, that oh, smells, smells like fruit good. punch. It smells good. Which I'm not usually a big fan of fruit punch, but we'll see how this is. So cheers. Cheers. It tastes like a melted popsicle. I like that. Yeah, it tastes like fruit punch. Wow. It's pretty on point with the fruit punch flavor. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I feel like this one has less of a protein taste after. Yeah, I agree. The blue one didn't have like a strong one, but it was almost more of like a collagen taste or like a gelatin. Yeah. It kind of had like a gelatin flavor yeah. to it. This one does a little bit, but not as much. I feel no, like. this one's good. I really like that. Yeah. And for one point. Same. 22 grams of protein. We need our whiteboards. I honestly don't know compared to the blue raspberry, which one I like better. Now I want the blue one to try. Three, two, one. Oh. Yeah. Four, four and, and a half. half. I agree. Yep. I like it better than the blue raspberry. I like the blue one better. Really? I just like blue flavored things better, and I'm not a huge fan of fruit punch. See, so I feel opposite. like I get kind of burned out of this flavor. Yeah. But it's good, and it, like I said, it's not too strong of like a protein collagen weird taste. It's good. For 22 grams, like it's just so it blows my mind that it's just a protein, like it's a protein shake. Right. I know what flavor they should make next. Which one? Like a key lime. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be I think they good. have a watermelon or something. I'll oh, have to double check. They good. have one more, but again, it's been out of stock. So, okay. So we found these at fresh time. I went ahead and looked where I can find everything today ahead of time before this video. I wrote oh, it next smart. to them. So I do have that, but some of these are available online as well or through Amazon. I try to link them if I can, but anyway, found these at fresh time. The brand is pulp and they are pulp chips. They're made with real veggies. And these caught my eye because they do have a decent amount of fiber in them for the serving. So anyway, for one ounce of them, it's 140 calories. It's seven grams of fat, 17 carbs, five grams of fiber, and two grams of protein. They're vegan, gluten-free, and grain-free. And the two flavors that we got today are barbecue and jalapeno lime. And both of these are three points for the serving of an ounce on Weight Watchers. So that's also not bad, three points. And they just seem like they are some good quality veggie chips, but we're gonna go ahead and try them. Okay, it definitely smells like vegetables, like vegetable chips. Oh, it does, chips. yeah. <laughs> so, I wonder what the actual serving would be, how many chips. It doesn't say about how many, but the serving is for one ounce or 28 grams. But they're a pretty decent size. Yeah. I feel like these would be good in like a snack mix or just... It's like a, even with dips, I feel like they're, they're like almost crackers. Like. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 
I actually really like those. <laughs> They're good. They remind me of something and I can't think of what. Like the consistency, it's almost like as if you made your own chips with like a flatbread yeah. in the air fryer. Yep. Like it kind of gets a little bit soft and like chewy, but not like it's in a bad way. like the, the uh, lavash bread. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like that. Oh, if you made If it you cut it up and made them into chips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that exact same consistency and texture. It's got good flavor. It yes. definitely does have like a slight vegetable taste I kinda, to I it. I like it though. <laughs> yeah, but it's flavorful. Yes. Okay, let's go ahead and try these. Okay. Why was I able to open the other ones so easy? Careful. These smell the exact same. So yeah, it says that they're made with... Oh no, they're free from gluten, grains, potato, and corn. Hmm, they do smell the same. That's so weird. Right? <laughs> they smell... Honestly, they kind of remind me of like the smell of like the bunny food that we used to get when we had bunnies. <laughs> they kind of smell like that, you know, like the pellets. But they taste better than that. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So yeah, just looking at the vegetable blend, it says it's romaine, spinach, kale, collards, green leaf, green chard, spring mix, arugula, cucumber, parsley, celery. That's Man. pretty much what it tastes like. I definitely taste like spinach and stuff. Yeah. And then it does have cassava flour, tapioca flour. I definitely like the barbecue ones better, so like I'm going to have two different ratings. I like the lime ones better. Okay, I'm so. I'm going to have the same rating. Do barbecue, then lime. Oh, same? Same for me. No, I guess I have the same for them. <laughs> Three, two, one. 3.5. Ooh, okay. I think that they definitely taste like a veggie chip. Yeah. And I don't know, the, the jalapeno lime is not my favorite. I just feel like it's got a good kick and it's got a lime flavor. Maybe that's just because I, I don't prefer jalapeno lime. Yeah. I see. I like the lime flavor of it. It almost like gives a little like sour taste in your mouth, which I like. Yeah. I honestly would probably use these as like a filler for a, a snack polar. Honestly, I feel like they'd be really good with dip. Yeah. They're like perfect like consistency and like crackers almost. I think they'd be good with the onion dip that we get yes. from Trader Joe's, the French yes. onion dip, but yeah, no, I think they're good. Yeah. I definitely prefer the barbecue ones. They just kind of, they taste like vegetables a little bit, but yeah. in a good way, because then I feel like they're actually vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice that they have five grams of fiber, because I'm always trying to focus on getting more fiber and protein. Maybe Okay, maybe I should have given them a four. I don't know. Well, you already put 3.5. <laughs> they are good though. Okay, next up, we're going to be trying some freezer meals. So we've tried th this brand before. The brand is Scott and John's and they have a lot of shrimp bowls, like different type of freezer shrimp bowls. I think they might have a few with other proteins, but we've only tried the shrimp ones. But today we got the garlic butter shrimp and the shrimp scampi. So this is a rice bowl and then the other one is linguine. The rice bowl says tender and juicy shrimp in a scratch made sauce with bell peppers, broccoli, and spinach. And they are gluten free. The bowl is 230 calories, four and a half grams of fat, 33 carbs, one gram of sugar, and 15 grams of protein. Then the shrimp scampi bowl with linguine has tender and juicy shrimp in a scratch made sauce with linguine, tomatoes, and spinach. This one is 260 calories, seven grams of fat, 31 carbs, three grams of sugar, and 17 grams of protein. Every time we try any type of freezer meal, I always mention how we kind of doctor them up a little bit. I usually like to add some extra protein or veggies to them. So for these two, I would probably add some veggie mix and maybe even some more shrimp if I had it on hand or if I had like some grilled chicken in the fridge. I think chicken would go really well with these two. But even if you don't add more zero point foods to them, they're still a not a bad option for seven points. Like this is something that you could take to work if you like to bring freezer meals for your lunch break or something. I think that these are a good option because they have a decent amount of protein they taste really good and fresh when we tried the other ones at least hopefully these ones do but this just smells so good <laughs> and i feel like it's actually a pretty decent portion like i said again i would like to add more zero point foods to it if it were me making this as a meal but this isn't a bad portion for seven points. So these we found at Walmart. We've seen them at Walmart and Meyer, and they're also at Woodman's, I think, but they've just been popping up more and more. So they're just in the freezer section usually. And yeah, let's go ahead and try. This is the shrimp garlic butter. Cheers. Cheers. It's so good. I don't know how that shrimp is so good. It's so, it just tastes so fresh. Yes. Let's go ahead and try this linguine, which this is more up my alley with yeah, pasta. I was gonna say. So again, a pretty decent serving for seven points. And this one, I think it said, was made with olive oil. I gotta make sure I get a shrimpy mm -hmm. in there. Why did I do this? Oh, this is gonna be so Cheers. Bad. Cheers. <laughs> you look like a fish out of water. I know, I felt like it. This one has more flavor. Yeah, I think the, the garlic. So, the garlic butter shrimp has really good flavor, and that's the one we were smelling so mm -hmm. strong. Uh, we're gonna have garlic breath after this, yeah. though, probably, but it has really good. And then the linguine is just as good. Yeah, they both have really good flavor. Those are so good. Those are probably like the best. I don't know. I don't know if I wanna say the best freezer meals we've tried, but I feel Definitely like. Definitely one of the best. We should go through and rank the different freezer meals we've tried before. I'm down. That'd be fun. These are just so good, and I just wanna keep finding the different ones that they have because I love shrimp, and they have so many different options with the right? shrimp. Three, two, one.
Four. Four and a half. Four. Wow. I like them. I would want a little. I am so. <laughs> I'm critiquing too much, but I want like a little more meat or something. I know we'd add more into it, but that's why yeah. Yeah. I gave it a four. The flavor is amazing, and it's definitely worth seven points. Yeah. We would definitely add more meat to that. Yeah, it's really good. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like, yeah, if it had a little bit more, it'd probably be a five for me. Yeah. But usually we like to just add to freezer meals anyway, so veggie mix would be perfect in both mm -hmm. of these, or just like even like cooked mushrooms or something. Yeah. If we had any leftover type of veggie mix, and then chicken, shrimp, like you said. Even like imitation crab, if we just cut up a little bit of that and added to the pasta, it'd be really good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on. The next thing we're going to be trying is a dip. So this is a field and farmer queso dip. And we've tried a couple dips from them and really enjoyed them. We usually find these at Fresh Time, which is where we got this one this time. And so this is their queso. And it's an allergen-free vegan option. For one ounce, it's 60 calories, four and a half grams of fat. It's got four carbs, two grams of fiber, and one gram of protein. It says to enjoy it chilled or warm. So I say we try it warm. warm. But, Whoa. ooh, it's a really nice consistency. Doesn't totally smell like queso. It looks like a honey mustard. I was gonna say, it, pretty, it looks like mustard, yeah. yeah. So we went ahead and heated some of this queso dip up. For the serving of an ounce, it's only one point on Weight Watchers, so that is a low point queso. And I'm always looking for good quesos to top my burritos with, but let's see how this is. It definitely looks like such a good consistency, yeah. honestly. Cheers. Cheers. It kind of is a kick, a little bit, no? Uh, I wouldn't say a kick. Maybe that's from something else, but I feel like it's kind of in my throat a little bit, but like not spicy. It doesn't really taste like queso, honestly. It kind of tastes like heated up, really blended hummus, which is kind of yeah. what it is. Yeah. It's just blended bean. I don't really get like that full cheesy flavor. Like I kind of taste nutritional yeast, but I don't know. It's a really good consistency though. That's what I like about it is that it's like perfectly creamy. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be good to add like just on top of like your burrito or something like yeah. Not like how you have your other one, the paste one, but I feel like it'd still be kind of good on a burrito. Or if I added a little bit more flavor to it, some type of like, either made it like garlicky or like a taco and did pasta with it. Yeah. It'd be a really good like mac and cheese. Like that would make like That'd a creamy really pasta. Honestly, even if I added shredded cheese to the pasta to make it like melted, you would get more of a cheese flavor. So I might save that and do like a mac and cheese pasta with it. We'll try that. So even like Rotel and that might be good too. Yeah. Yeah, definitely it doesn't have that like cheese flavor. Yeah. I don't know. But to me, it just tastes kind of like a blended up hummus. Mm -hmm. It's more like a bean flavor than a cheese flavor. And it is almost a little like sour. Yeah, that's what I was kind of getting. I didn't know why. Yeah. Three, two, one, three. Two and a half. I give it a three because I think the consistency is really good and I think you could do a lot with it. I don't know if I would just sit and eat it plain as a dip. Yeah. Or that's... like expecting it to be like queso. I was expecting it to have more of like a cheese flavor. Okay. I still think it yeah. tastes okay. That's why I gave it a two and a half instead of like a two. Because the one point two, you can't really argue with that. Right. But yeah, I think if we did mix maybe in like some taco meat and Rotel, like you said, and made yeah. it like a queso like that, and yeah. maybe even added some melted cheese, but then it's not going to yeah. be vegan anymore. Yeah. But for one point, it's not bad. Yeah. Okay, this is the last salty thing that we're trying, and we found these also at Fresh Time. I looked online, and Fresh Time is the only place around us that you can find them, but the flavors that we got for these, they are just almonds. They're sprouted almonds. This is sprouted almonds and pepitas, but we got dill pickle and Nashville hot, so both flavors sounded really good. I also went to their website just to check out what they had, and they have a flavor that is like a chai pear flavor. Yeah. What? Yeah. So we need to try that. We need to find that because chai pear that sounds, sounds so good. So interesting and so good. Yeah. But of course, Adam spotted the Nashville <laughs> Crunch or Nashville Hot, I mean, and he was all over it. But these are interesting. It says that they have a hollow core. They're uniquely crunchy sprouted nut snacks. They are 150 calories for a quarter cup, 13 grams of fat, six carbs, three grams of fiber, one gram of sugar, and five grams of protein. And the serving for these, it is four points. And then with these dill pickle ones, it's actually only three points for the serving of a quarter cup, which is not bad, especially mm. for nuts. Yeah. It says that they are also vegan friendly, keto friendly, and made with gluten-free ingredients. But for the serving of a quarter cup, it's 150 calories. 13 grams of fat, six carbs, four grams of fiber, and five grams of protein. Again, kind of higher in the fiber and protein, and I'm hoping that the flavor is really good. So let's try these yeah, first so that they're not too spicy. I'm yeah. scared the Nashville Hot are gonna be too spicy for me. Okay, it smells like pickles. Oh yeah, also mm. I saw this is made with Cleveland Kitchen Pickles, which we like those. Oh. These definitely look like pretty heavily seasoned. You can right. see like little chunks of dill on them dried on there, so they do smell good. And these have almonds and pepitas, so cheers. Cheers. It's interesting because they're not, it's not like seasoned with it. 
it's like dried with it. Mm -hmm. So there's not like a seasoning on it, but it, you can still get that dill flavor. I kind of like it because it's not overwhelmingly mm -hmm. salty. It's actually not really salty no. at all, but it really does taste like fresh pickles. Yeah, it does. It tastes really fresh. Yeah. I like them. I like, I like them They're a lot. nice and crunchy right? too. Okay, the next ones we're trying are the natural hot, so hopefully these aren't too spicy. I'm scared. <laughs> they even have like a good aftertaste, they honestly. Do. They do. Yeah, surprisingly, like I love overpowered season stuff, but like that was like a perfect amount of pickle. It's oh my gosh, it actually, <laughs> wait. They actually look like Nashville hot chicken. You can see it's like dried on there. A good amount of seasoning. These are actually pretty heavily seasoned, yeah. but it's not like overwhelming like some. No. Okay, cheers. You're cheers. only doing one? I don't know. We'll figure it out. The flavor is so good. It's so good. It's got a kick though. It does, but it's really good. But it actually tastes like breading on a chicken sandwich, on a not natural right? hot chicken sandwich. <laughs> they nailed that flavor. Both of these flavors are very good. Yeah. And it's only three points for these and I four know. for these. Uh oh. I think we know. <laughs> I just, I honestly like that they're super crunchy too. I, maybe sometimes our almonds just get kind of stale, but like they have a really good crunch to them. Such good flavor. The Nashville hot are a little too spicy for me to like keep eating, but like yeah, even like tossing perfect. a few of those in a snack mix. Yeah, that'd be good. Three, two, one, five. five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we knew. <laughs> those are really good. I like both of them the same amount pretty much too. I, I like the Nashville hot better just because it's spicy, but I actually really it's like spicy. that it's not like a seasoning on it, that it's like right? dried on there. I don't know why I was not expecting that. It's really Oh, I didn't even see it in their women owned. Whoa. Bonus. Bonus. <laughs> That's it for salty then. Wow, we had some wow. good salty things today. Okay, moving on to some sweet things. The first thing that we're trying, we've tried one of these flavors before. These were actually sent to us by Lenny and Larry's, and so now we're trying the other flavor that we have, and it is the Vanilla Complete Cream Cookies. They are two points for one, or four points for two cookies, which is the serving size. For two of them, it's 130 calories, seven grams of fat, 14 carbs, three grams of fiber, seven grams of sugar, and five grams of protein. So these have no soy, they're certified vegan, no high fructose corn syrup, five grams of protein, and zero sugar alcohols. And like I said, it's two points per cookie. And they come in individual packs, which I kind of like. So there's two in there. We, like I said, got these sent to us, but I looked it up online and it looks like they're available at Target was where I was seeing them. But let's go ahead and give these a try. So they look like they have a good amount of cream in there. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. I really like those. Those are good. I actually like them more than the chocolate ones we tried. I would agree. They don't have any weird like protein flavor for the fact that they're a protein cookie. If anything, it's almost like, you know how Kodiak sometimes tastes like a little protein-y? I yeah. feel like it's like that slight protein taste, yeah. but it does have five grams of plant-based protein and three grams of prebiotic fiber. I honestly really like these. Yeah, those are good. I'm surprised I like those more than the chocolate ones. Same. I was not expecting that. Right? And two points of cookies, not bad. I feel like, no. and two for four, Pretty not good. bad. Late night snack. Three, two, one, four. four. I just think that for a protein cookie, for two of them for five grams of protein, it's not like a huge amount of protein, but also it doesn't have that strong of a protein flavor to yeah. it. I think those would be good cut up and put into a creamy. <sighs> or on apple nachos, so even just like one of them Definitely. for two points. Yeah, I actually really like those. I like them more than the chocolate ones. Same. Okay, the next thing we're gonna be trying, these are the Unreal Dark Chocolate Caramel Peanut Nougat Bars. Whoa. So we've seen this brand. I don't know, have we ever tried Unreal? I think we did once. Because I've had people recommend it to me, but I don't know if we ever actually had tried it. Usually I see this, I feel like I've seen it at Fresh Time. Mm. I got these at Jewel and I've also seen them at Target and Woodman's. So those are some of the places we have found them. For these, I think they're just individually wrapped. Yes, they are. So one of these bars is four points on Weight Watchers. They, like I said, are dark chocolate caramel peanut nougat bars. So that's why I grabbed them because they're dark chocolate and I usually prefer that. But for one bar, it's 90 calories, four and a half grams of fat, 11 carbs, one gram of fiber, six grams of sugar, and two grams of protein and four points. So let's see the size for four because honestly, when I'm craving a candy bar, I'll have a bear bell usually, yeah. and that's like five or six points. Yeah. And has much more protein. <laughs> this is kind of small for yeah. four points. But also, if I'm craving a candy bar, maybe this would just satisfy the craving for it. So it only does have two grams of protein, like I said, but it does have less sugar than a normal candy bar, no sugar alcohols, no soy ingredients. So let's see what we think. Cheers. Cheers. It tastes like candy. Yeah, very similar <laughs> to a Snickers. Yeah, it doesn't really taste like a protein bar, so I guess that's the difference between having a Bear Bell and that, but I don't even think Bear Bells taste like protein bars, really. So. Yeah, I don't really think it has a weird taste to it, does it? Nope, not that I'm getting. Yeah. I think it tastes good. It tastes just like a candy bar. Yeah, it tastes like a dark chocolate version of like, it, I don't really get a Snickers from it, but kind of like, kind of, I don't know. 
I think if it wasn't dark chocolate, you kind of would. I like the dark chocolate on it a lot. I did too. I think four points is kind of high, but again, if you're expecting like a candy bar, mm -hmm. instead of doing like one of those fun size ones, I always say kid <laughs> size. I don't know why. Two, three, three and a half. I don't know how often I would buy those if I would buy them again. I know I'm going to eat them since we have them, yes. Like they are good. I just feel like for four points, sometimes I would probably rather have something that's higher in protein, but that's just how my mind works now with yeah. Bear Bells, because I have those as an option. Why do I say yeah. Bear Bells like that? Bear Bells. Bells but but yeah, I agree. That's yeah. why I give them a three, because like, I feel like four points is a little too high for the size, but if I'm really craving, I, I crave chocolate a lot, so I will definitely eat these. <laughs> I definitely, like, I want to finish it right now, like, it's really good. Yeah. So. It's definitely good, it's just a little bit higher in points for the size, but when you compare it to like a candy bar, I think it's definitely worth it. So. Yes. Yeah, I'll probably buy them again, just not like all the time. Yeah. Okay, the next thing we're trying, I found this at Walmart and I've been excited to try it. It's a Halo Top birthday cake, cake mug. So it's one of those cups that you pretty much just add water to, mix it together, throw it in the microwave, and then we have a nice cake mug. It is 170 calories for the container, five grams of fat. It's got 35 carbs, one gram of fiber, eight grams of sugar, and five grams of protein. And it's seven points for this. So like I said, I got this from Walmart. We've also seen them at Jewel, but it seems like it's a pretty decent size. I was kind of going to scoop it out because sometimes you're able to do that, you know? It's still pretty hot actually. <sighs> oh, so how would you do that? This is like the size of it. You can see all the sprinkles. I guess maybe I didn't mix it well enough, but I mixed it for 30 seconds, like I said, almost, I think. Almost. That's what it looks like. It definitely looks like a nice cake. And yeah. honestly, it's a pretty good size when you think about it. Yeah. I guess we don't really need the spoons. Yeah, so it seems like the consistency of more like angel food cake, but yeah. let's see. So seven points for the whole thing. Cheers. Cheers. What? It's really good. It's very good. It has erythritol, so it's probably going to mess up our stomachs a little bit, maybe. Although, erythritol, I feel like, usually doesn't affect us that bad. I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, I don't taste any, like, fake sugar taste no. or anything for the fact that it does have that. But it kind of tastes like a pancake. It does. But also, like, a vanilla cupcake. And if you want your kitchen to smell like birthday cake, just buy it and microwave <laughs> it. Because we yeah. could literally, like, taste it when it came out of the microwave. <laughs> yeah, it smells really strong. It smells really good. Yeah. I mean, I think it's convenient for a seven-point dessert. It's pretty good. Like, if you were really craving cake, to just have, like, one of those on hand, and maybe, like, the day you're craving cake, you have that to make Walmart it. Walnut cream on top, too. That's probably pretty good. Yeah. It really is good, though. It's, like, a perfect consistency. I thought it was nice and fluffy. Yeah. It was nice to have it warm. Like, that. Yeah, cake. that was good. That was, like, a fresh out-of-the-oven cake. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Four. four. Wow, we are like pretty yeah, insane this time. I give it a four because I feel like seven for that's not terrible, but I feel like it's not as filling as mm -hmm. it would be for something else for seven points, but the flavor is really good. I didn't really have that high of hopes for this because I kind of thought it would have a fake sugar taste to it, yeah. and I'm still not really getting it. I don't mm, know. No, it tastes good. Usually we can spot it, I feel like, but <laughs> it's not bad. That's really good. The last sweet thing that we're trying, I'm yes. so excited to try this. It's a little bit higher point of an option, but we saw it and we had to get it. I've actually been looking for this one once I saw them post about it. And it is the Honey Mama's Blonde Truffle Bar Lemon Blueberry Flavor, which is actually like Adam's favorite flavor for anything. He loves oh lemon blueberry. Gosh. For the serving of a third of this bar, it's eight points on Weight Watchers. It's 128 calories, 10 grams of fat, 11 carbs, two grams of fiber, eight grams of sugar, and one gram of protein. And the first ingredient is organic raw honey then it's got organic roasted coconut coconut oil blueberries and yeah let's go ahead and dig into this yeah. so i always say this every time i love their packaging so much it's so cute this is one of their blonde truffles i just want to smell it. oh my gosh you touched it i i can't taste you're it with my nose it. no i'm saying you're eating oh. the chunk that you touched with your nose <laughs> okay First of all, it smells like lemon blueberry muffins. It does. I'm so excited. So this serving is eight points. Like I said, it's a higher point option, but these are also very rich and they're like truffle-like. So a lot of times Adam and I will just split a bar like this after dinner or something yeah. for like three to four points, depending on and what And even flavor. if we have our own, it like, it's so filling that like, there's oh, like, yeah. we don't have any else for us tonight. Yeah, pretty much. Cheers. Cheers. I have to say I love dried blueberries like that. Yes. And those have such good flavor for bl dried blueberries. They taste so strong like blueberries. And the lemon, oh my gosh. Three, two, one, five. Five. <laughs> I knew you would love it. Oh my gosh. Is this your new favorite That is flavor? my favorite flavor that really? we have tried. Like more than the peppermint uh, mocha. Yes, honestly, yes. I think it's uh, it's my favorite flavor. He loved the peppermint mocha. Or I peppermint, did. yeah, peppermint yeah. mocha. Yeah. yeah. Which now, I did too, of course. But yeah. like, and the pumpkin sometimes spice when he likes so desserts, yeah, he... 
Buffalo for sweet. Or, sorry. <laughs> Buffalo for salty and lemon blueberry for sweet are like my two favorite things ever. I want to eat the rest of that bar right now. Like I want to eat the whole thing. Seriously. Like I would I would <laughs> totally eat two of those for like 15 or 16 points. Yeah. Like and be completely okay with it. <laughs> that is so good. They like it's like perfect for the oh, lemon blueberry flavor. Yes. It definitely tastes like a lemon blueberry muffin. It's not like cuz sometimes we try lemon desserts like this and they have that like fake lemon extract mm -hmm. taste and it, we don't like it. Yeah. I don't taste that at all with this. No. Yay. Well, this was a successful so snack review. We got some really good stuff today. Yes. So, what was your favorite salty thing? I think we kind of agree that these nuts were, yeah. Yeah. And actually we were reading the back because it says that they're easier to digest because they're sprouted. So what they do is they soak them, activate them, and dehydrate them. And then it hollows out the core, which also I think is what it says made it more crunchy, but also easier to digest. So I, these are really good. Yes. This is definitely unique and definitely a good option. So. I'm glad we found these. Yeah, and I'm gonna look out for those spiced chai pear or whatever they yes. were. And they had some other flavors that just looked really good too, so. We'll try any of them now. Yeah, that's definitely my favorite salty. Favorite sweet, yeah, obviously. I was gonna say that, but also I really was impressed by the Halo Top yes. thing and the the cookies. <laughs> Everything was really good for sweet, but this was really good. And it matches us, so oh, it's, okay. it was made to be. <laughs> Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed Oh wait, and I want to also say this was really good yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everything was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, a few things that we weren't a huge yeah, fan of, but, but what are you going to do? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.